when I get in here, the band's warming up out on the field. They're doing their pregame practice. We only get, uh, what, five home games a year. So it's definitely one of the you know, five highlights of the year for sure. It's about 7.40 in the morning. We're just setting up the jerseys for the guys before they get in. We're a little behind schedule, but we'll be all right. That's how we roll. We used to set them up in the equipment room and all 105 guys or whatever would come down and get them from us. So thinking outside the box here, we just decided we set it up and make it look good. About 8.30, I start up the rollers and, and I get them on. Coach Mack usually likes to be in about 9 o'clock, so we make sure we have a couple dogs on early for him. I don't eat breakfast. You know, uh, my breakfast is uh, three hot dogs from the, from the grills downstairs in the equipment room. The tradition really is anybody who's associated with the program, whether it be a coach, an athletic trainer, really all the support staff can go back there and have one. As far as we know, it's about 40 plus years old. Uh, started by Jack French um, in the early 1970s. Everyone has their own routine. Some guys go in and need a couple, few at one time. I go in, I have one at a time, three different times. I like to get down there, have one of the first ones. We can go out to the game without at least having one. Well, maybe two, right? <laughs> three's the number I got now. Before, it was two, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But usually I have three hot dogs, you know, and they space them out a little bit. Sometimes I don't know what's more important to the, the jerseys and the gear for the guys on game day or getting the hot dogs ready for, for 9 a.m. in the morning. It's unique. It's, a, it's one place I've been that has something like this, you know. I think it's awesome. Football team has breakfast at 8.30, so they get here around 9. They've been playing so long, most of them, that some of them have routines that they'd like to do before they play. Mostly ankles, a lot of wrists and hands. Today we did a couple of knees. It's just to give the ligaments some support. A lot of the back stuff that you saw is just getting their backs loose. We call it elbows. It's kind of like a pressure point massage thing. <laughs> some of them like to screw around. Some of them are very quiet. Some of them are worried, nervous, anxious. Thanks, I'm gonna try. By and large, athletes have an outstanding outlook on life. <laughs> You see them when they're freshmen and they don't know anything, and you see them when they're seniors and they're just about to go out in the world and contribute. And the development is really what's so interesting about the job. Yes! I joke with the coaches about this. It's probably my favorite part of UNH football. We have what we call the, uh, the, the crow's nest up top. It's the two windows, if you look at the very top of the field house from the stadium. And you have to climb, climb up what is really a service ladder to a, a catwalk and then walk the catwalk along the, along the side of the indoor track up to a, a crow's nest, which I believe Coach McDonald built some years ago, which we always joke, you know, you know how, how safe is this thing up here? We've had, had some coaches afraid of heights. We've had to, you know, uh, overcome that fear pretty quickly. It really is a great view to oversee everything. You know, you can see the entire field with ease. You see over the crowd. You see all 22 players at once. Coach Sean Devine, who's now at Boston College, called it the best view in college football. And that was his tradition every Saturday when we finished climbing up that thing. He sat down, exhaled, and said, the best, best view in college football. There's three things that separate us, you know. Well, one, I think, is how, how smart we play. You know, I always tell them we've got to win the battle of the mind. The next one is said how physical we play. And then last thing we talk about is playing emotional, you know, and um, win the battle of the heart. You know, and uh, go out and play the game. And, do it the way we've done it now for, you know, since I played here in 1978. Those three or four things just stuck in my mind when I started thinking about how we play. You know, you're nervous and always worrying about, you know, have we done enough? Are we prepared? Are we ready to go? Is this guy ready? You know, you take a look, you know, which way is the wind blowing? You know, what are we going to do if we receive? What are we going to do if we have to kick? Got a million thoughts rushing through your mind and then you're trying to stay composed, you know, check your motion, but sometimes you're so excited you're ready to go.